I am a real life, uh, let's see if I can remember this, I just wrote it. I am a real life Miata driving, track light loving, man purse carrying, village people ticket holding homosexual. <laughs> Thank you. First time I said that out loud. I felt it. I want to clear something up right now, guys. Specifically to the guys. Uh, people think that gay men, all you need to attract us is a penis, and I want to, I want to dispel that rumor right now. All right, because guys, do me a favor. Look at each other. All right, just look, just look at each other. Would any of you let the fat, hairy bastard looking back at you touch you ever? <laughs> because I promise I am way more shallow than any of you. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll give you this. If, uh, if you know your way around a Bowflex, if you've ever shaved anything other than your face, if I can iron my shirt on your stomach, you might want to keep your back to the wall, and by all means, if you drop anything on the floor, just leave it there. <laughs> Otherwise, relax. Jesus. Hey, wait. Like you do? There's another interesting fact about us. Uh, we never age. Actually, we don't. Ever. I'm 28 years old, personally. Uh, but if I took my shirt off right now, you'd swear you just heard my voice crack. And this... I haven't shaved in two years. I grow facial hair like a 14-year-old Mexican girl. Huh. And they can't make fun of the Mexicans in Jacksonville. Who I blame for my gay nature, though, is actually my mother. And I'll tell you why. We all have crazy moms. You guys can relate with that, right? Well, I'm certifiable. She's bipolar. Meaning she's either way up here or way down here all the time, and you never know what you're going to get. But um, growing up in a household like that, you do learn to look for the signs. Uh, for instance, coming home from school, there's a car in the driveway, which is a good sign. It means mom's feeling social. It must be an update. It's good. When there's a thick pane of glass, though, between the front seat and the back seat of that car, not good. Somebody might be dead. I uh, walk in the house one day after school and the cat's lounging on the dining room table. This is a good sign because the cat runs and hides when mom's having a bad day. She knows when the storm is coming, she's smart enough not to be there. So she's out in the open, it's, it's a good thing. Um, but on this particular day, there was an apple in the cat's mouth. It wasn't even Thanksgiving. That's the first and last time I ever ate pussy. <laughs> Really, you didn't know where I was going with that? Really? You guys need to get on the internet or something. Right? I will say this, though. I did learn in that moment that if you squeeze some lemon juice on it, it doesn't taste fishy at all. 